What's up guys, Duartic here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are back to talk about the Asgardians and the reason why we are talking about the Asgardians is because I think they are going to become relevant on the Alliance Wars meta again, maybe. And this is why I want to talk about in this video so you guys can help me out in the comments to see if you think it's going to be worth it to put them, to put them back together on the uh, Alliance Wars defense. So if you like the information on this video like always make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure you smash that like button. Okay so in terms of Alliance Wars Alliance Wars right now is all about uh, making sure that uh, the opposite team spends as many as possible Black Orders on attack uh, or uh, Symbiotes or X-Men or something like this. So the goal is to spend, to make the enemy spend their most powerful teams and uh, then uh, get a few defensive wins and based on that you will uh, unbalance the amount uh, of uh, energy that uh, you can spend and the teams that you have available to spend uh, with that energy and uh, two months ago the goal of alliance wars was to make sure the enemies would use as many black orders as possible so we would have very big uh, marauders or uh, very big uh, uh, inhumans with uh, with a shield and uh, people would usually use black order because they didn't know which counter to use and uh, most of the times of course there are a few teams that can destroy the Asgardians easily but most of the times you want to use the symbiotes and uh, with this guy right now on the picture the multiple man he is the reason why I decided to make this video if uh, multiple men is going to be reason good enough to remove uh, uh, the Asgardians from offense or maybe from the Avenger team in order to uh, place them back on defense because you need the symbiotes almost for sure against the teams like uh, the Red Skull or against uh, the Asgardians or uh, some people use them against uh, this inhuman shield some people use them against uh, the uh, the marauders so it's a team that can win very specific matchups and uh, it's a team that most people have very very powerful because uh, they, they are used in raids as well but with this new team the X-Force and the characters we had before Longshot and Shatterstar the two of them they were already very very strong and it's a recommendation from Marvel Strike Force that we should use this team on offense but why can't we not why don't we use it on defense instead with multiple men we have uh, taunts going on all the time and uh, that's something that uh, I find very interesting because it will force uh, the symbiotes always to attack the minions and that's fine but we always have to remember that uh, the x-force they have insane amount of burst damage so the symbiotes will not deal with it very easy even that it will be the team that most people will pick up to use against them and uh, Based on that and based on the fact that many people many people use the symbiotes against different teams once again because they are very strong and because they are very well geared because they were used it for raids, dark dimension and so on then people will have to use possibly this team against uh, the uh, they will have to use the symbiotes against this team and uh, Against Red Skull you have the option of using Black Bolt but then you have to remove Black Bolt from defense and that team is one of the best teams that we have available right now. So options, you have to make decisions and uh, honestly I don't see people removing Black Bolt from defense and even if you remove Black Bolt from defense against very powerful Hydra teams 
like the teams of 500-600k, Black Bolt is not able to win that easily. So it will be interesting and uh, against multiple men Black Bolt can actually not do anything because he has a way of uh, removing that uh, disrupt that Black Bolt would apply to him. So it's going to be very interesting and uh, there are a few situations like are you going and uh, in okay let's assume that uh, you are going to use uh, uh, Asgardians once again on defense so then uh, the enemies will not have uh, the symbiotes to use against multiple men or the other way around or they use the symbiotes against multiple men and then they don't have a good option to go a very strong Asgardians like 600k or something then uh, is this reason good enough to to put Asgardians on defense because we have to remember right now at least i'm i'm using tor with the avengers as we see right now on the screen and this is a very powerful team as well and i have seen a few teams of uh, avengers at 700k 600k they are a problem you can punch up 150k easily with a few teams like uh, too many sources and uh, Sinister Six and so on, but still once again you are using a very powerful team to destroy another somewhat powerful team, I guess and uh, And once again if you remove Thor from the Avengers, who do you put there and uh, if you remove Hela and Loki from the too many sorcerers team you end up with the Supernaturals that is a trash team right now they are not able to do much unless it's against against uh, maybe the pin tech or something like this so yeah i see a lot of potential on this uh, x factor team on defense even that uh, according to the buffs that we see on uh, polaris they are supposed to be used on offense but the buffs are not that big and once again the amount of burst damage that these guys have is just insane and uh, it's quite concerning <laughs> i think uh, especially for people who use the long shot and shatter star for dark dimension 4 i think they will be at a very good position in terms of these characters on alliance wars defense especially if you put together also like uh, squirrel girl even that she doesn't do much there the fact that she is able to clear the negative effect so fast it will counter natural counters like uh, the Brotherhood or something like this and it will make this team the X Factor very very strong on defense and uh, yeah then uh, which option are we going to use? Symbiote right? I, I don't see any other option and especially based on the burst damage maybe it has to be symbiotes mixed with shooty or some early defense up or something like this because the burst damage might be too high and uh, after this match we are going to take a look at a team i've been facing uh, a lot recently on alliance wars and it's a very powerful team which is the mercenaries with hella and loki this team is really really annoying they are extremely fast and the taskmaster goes before Loki or they go at the same time or something like this and uh, he applies bleeds, blinds and then defense down and then Hela spreads everything. This team is quite insane and I've been uh, looking at it and uh, watching it all over the place in Alliance Wars and uh, I'm quite curious about it. It's it's going to be very very interesting the the next uh, next couple of months so this the team is this one you want to have a loki in one corner hella in other corner and then taskmaster uh, merc riot guard and merc lieutenant and on top of that uh, on alliance wars merc lieutenant will give offense up to hella so it's going to be painful so yeah I, i'm very interested to know what you guys think if it's going to be worth it to put the Asgardians back into defense and uh, there is another situation which is investing on trashy characters on Alliance Wars you always want to invest on good characters and not on trashy characters and uh, with, uh, with Wave 1 Avengers you invest mostly on decent characters with uh, the Asgardians 
you still have to invest in Sif. She's borderline okay, but then you have Heimdall that is mostly useless. So there is this situation again. Is it going to be worth to <laughs> once again remove Heimdall and Sif from the bench and make them usable again? So as you can see right now, we have uh, the the defense down, then Hela spread it, and now we have the bleeds with the blinds. On Alliance Wars, Hela will go after uh, Merc, uh, Merc Lieutenant and Taskmaster. So this team is is way more deadly. With a few teams I tried, my teams died right away. I tried uh, Symbiotes, they died right away. I tried the uh, X-Men, they died uh, right away. So this team is very, very powerful and very, very annoying. So yeah, are, are we going to <laughs> put the Asgardians back together? Probably not. I think at this point, uh, I, I don't know, like the Too Many Sorcerers team is so powerful. So it's kind of a waste uh, removing them from offense. And uh, uh, once again, investing on Iandal and Sif seems like a waste. But it's going to be very scary f uh, the X Factor team on uh, defense, and uh, I'm going to invest as much as I can early on uh, to try that team out. Uh, and you guys, let me know also if you are interested in investing that team, and uh, send me some screenshots on Discord with defensive wins and stuff like this, so we can also figure out some counter. Because once again, with Black Bolt, very unlikely, and also Black Bolt is on defense and uh, I, I don't know like that team has so much burst damage it has so much bleeds and then polaris with the piercing damage and the, the team is so fast it is just incredible so once again let me know in the comments below what you think about this situation asgardians back on defense mercenaries with asgardians uh, too many sorcerers and what to do with x factor are you going to use them on offense or are you going to use them on defense like I'm suggesting? I think they are going to be very, very strong in each of those situations. But you guys let me know in the comments below. And uh, once again, if you like this video, make sure you smash it like uh, <laughs> smash that like button like a boss. And uh, if you found information on this video helpful, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. And uh, if you like, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. And we'll be back in a few weeks after these two new characters are released to see what end up being the best option. X-Factor on offense, X-Factor on defense. I think they are going to be very, very powerful in both situations, but I think they are going to be extremely annoying on defense. So that's the video, guys. I'll catch you guys later.